Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial video, we'll be creating a Twitter reply bot in Python using Tweepy. Our bot will reply to tweets that ask us a question of any kind. I'll be using Python 3 for this tutorial, and I'll also be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor. I'll also be assuming that you have Tweepy set up, but if you don't, I'll link a tutorial on the top right of the screen, as well as in the description. And before we start, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if it helps. Let's get started. So here, I just have the initialization code, which I explained in the Tweepy setup tutorial. This will be the bot account that I'll be using for this tutorial. Alright, so in our project, the first thing we need to do is to import time, then create a bot ID variable and convert it to an integer. And we will use this later in our project to check if we are the author of the tweet, because we don't want to reply to ourselves. We can then create a while true loop and then search for all tweets mentioning us by typing mentions equals api.mentions timeline. After this, we can iterate through each mention tweet by typing for mention in mentions, and then we can print something like mention tweet found as well as an f string which will print the tweet's author and the actual text of the tweet. We can now go outside of the for loop and type time.sleep, which will set a delay to the program, and we can set it to something like 15 seconds. We can now run our bot, and I'll be mentioning the bot account on the left side of the screen on my main Twitter account. And as we can see, everything seems to be working so far. Make sure that when you stop the program, you're actually stopping it and not just closing the output window. So in Visual Studio Code, I'll click this button here and then kill terminal. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to create a new variable called mention ID and set it to 1. Then inside of the mentions timeline method, we pass mention ID into since ID. And what this will do is it will search for tweets that only contain IDs greater than the number we pass through it. So in our case, it will be 1. The reason we're doing this is because our bot will keep on fetching the same tweets that mention us every single time. And we only want to find tweets that we haven't found already. Make sure to also actually set the mention ID variable to the ID of the next mention tweet we find. We then need to create a new variable containing a list of all the words that might indicate that this mention might be a question. So I'll be inserting why, how, when, what, and then just a question mark to top it all off. We can also create a message variable which will store our response for when we actually need to reply to a user. So I'll be typing if you have any questions, feel free to send us a DM at, and it's important to add this at here because you need to mention the user. We can then add two curly braces so that we can format the string later. We can then check if the tweet is not a reply to another tweet because we only want to find tweets that aren't replied and then we can check if we are not the author of the tweet, which is why this bot ID variable was important. Then we can check if any of our words are inside of the tweet's text. If not, we can create a try and accept block, and inside of the try block we can print attempting to reply. Then we can create our reply by typing status. The first argument is our message, so message.format, then we pass mention.author.screenName, and then we need to directly set a parameter called in reply to status ID to the ID of the tweet we found. This method will reply to this tweet using this message. Then we can print successfully replied and inside of the accept block we can accept exception as exe. Then just print the exception that we got. Sorry guys, while editing the video I saw a mistake in the code. Just go to this if statement and type if true in and from there it should work. Now this should actually be all the code for this bot and if we run it while having Twitter open on the left side of the screen I'll be mentioning the account and asking a question. Something like at tutorial account. When is your next video? Video. If we wait a while, we see that the bot found our tweet and that it has successfully replied to it. We can create a second tweet where we mention the bot, but we don't ask a question. So let's just mention the bot account and add some random text. We see that the bot picks this tweet up, but it doesn't attempt to reply to this tweet. If we refresh our page and go back to our tweets, we can see that this one has a comment and this one doesn't. The tweet containing the question has our bot's comment right here, meaning that everything worked, hopefully. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. I'll post the code on GitHub, and if you find any problems, problems with the bot, please let me know. Other than that though, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.